Today we're going to take and do a recreation. I've created this banner for our rah rah football pool in Keynote. We're going to go to File. We're going to create a new presentation from a blank theme. And we're also going to, at the same time, get rid of these uh, divs uh, by hitting them, clicking them on, and deleting. First thing to do is go to the inspector. And what we want to do is create the size of this. We come down here to where it says slide size, and right now it's set up to 1024 by 768 pixels. We want to do a custom slide size. I'm going to make this uh, 1000. The smallest uh, height size that we can go to is 200 on the keynote presentation. It can be adjusted when it gets to iWeb. Now we have our, our banner up here. First I'm going to do is take a slide and put my major slide over here. Well, first of all, let's take and slide this slide over here to have it be directly in line instead of having it be like a bullet. What we want to do is go to the inspector and go to the size. We're going to go to the size here and we're going to remove the constraint proportions so we can make the size the one we want. So I make it a little bit over so it overlaps and this actually becomes our background uh, for our first slide. I'm only going to have two slides in my entire presentation. And this is going to be the other slide that I'm going to take and work with. Go to the inspector again. Now we're going to close this little inspector up and bring in our photographs. Okay, one of them is up here, the Rah Rah football team right here. Um, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to just take and copy this. But the thing is you would take and put a text box in here and do a paste. We'll come back and copy this, put it in here. Okay, I'm just going to take and center these up a little bit and move them around. Okay, now that we have our, our two slides here, but we want to take and set these slides up. Okay, we have this one here and then we have this one here. There's the background, which when you click it on, it's going to be highlighted here. And then also the background of the other one. But this one here, we have content in the center. And what we want to do is take and control this content, make it, make it come alive a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go to this first slide and go to the inspector. And from the inspector, I'm going to go to the transitions. Right now, there's no transition whatsoever with this. Okay, so I'm going to select, um, we're going to do a dissolve trans transition so it will automatically just dissolve into the other slide that we have. Okay, we do it automatically so I can see what's really happening. And it gives you a little example what what's going to happen up here, how it's going to dissolve from one to the other. So I want to take and go to this other slide that we have. And I'm going to do a dissolve on this too because when it gets finished, okay, it will dissolve into um, back into this other one if I loop it. And that means it will continuously play as a header on my football pool. It's going to transition, it's going to dissolve, and we're going to do it automatically. Now we're going to take and do some building here. Now the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to take and do a cube. Next we're going to take our text that we put over here. I've selected the scale. We want the delivery. Our choice is down here on we want everything at one time. Probably could do it backwards too. Let's see what would happen. Yeah, it would what it actually does is bring the text in from the end to the beginning or we can have it come from the beginning or from the center. We'll do it from the center on this one here. We're building this one in, okay, in the order is this one's going to come in first, this week's winner is going to come in second, you compress, I think. I like that so it's going to just take and bring everything in at one time. We got this picture over here. Uh, we could actually take and make that a little bit bigger, I guess. Once that you have a build in, you can actually take and have a build out too. Let's try flame, okay? There we go. To have Chuck be a real hot guy. This is order number four. So we have the first build, second build, third build, and then the fourth build within this slide. This is order number four. So we have the first build, second build, third build, and then the fourth build within this slide. Okay, the duration of this is second and a half. I'm going to reduce that to one. So it don't take quite so long to build that in. Let's go back to the inspector, okay, because there's another important part that we need to do here. Okay, we ought to want it to automatically, this here is in the first little icon to the left, okay, we want to automatically play upon opening. And also we're going to have a slideshow loop, so loop itself, okay. 
and also we want it to be self-playing. And the transitions it's got for five seconds. Uh, so that means that it's going to stay on this here five seconds before the builds come in and two seconds for the builds. Now let's play this and see what we do now. Okay, you can see how the right one or the left one comes in first. Okay, the center one. And now the next one there in Chuck. And then our final picture here of, another, of the winner Chuck. Okay, and then it goes back and loops again to the the rah rah pool. But this is just to give you some idea of what you can actually do with Keynote in making a banner um, for a website that you might have, whether it be personal or business. Okay, we're going to take and export this to the slide duration is five seconds, the build duration is two seconds. I probably could take and reduce that a little bit, make that one, and the slide duration. Make that four. So it'll go just a little bit quicker than what we have. Now the formats, um, you can do a custom format and it's going to take and ask you for the information uh, that you have in here. And one thing you want to do is, I would suggest making a banner. Uh, this is the smallest you're going to be able to make it in Keynote. Uh, H264 compression is good. You can go to the, any one of these frame rates and also adjust that. I found that using 25 you know, is, is very good. The compressor, the quality, I put it up here sort of near high because it's, it works very well and still goes into the internet without a problem. Okay, so we're looking really good here. So I just hit OK and then we're going to hit Next. Okay, we're going to call this uh, Ra Ra Football. Now we're going to take and export that. It's going to export that to movies.